Good morning, everybody, or good evening, or good afternoon, depending on when you watch this video. Today is day 28 out of 28 for the vlog. Um, what I'm thinking about doing today is going over a few things that I learned throughout this time, um, particularly in the so editing software that I was using, and then other techniques that I, I use somewhere along the way. See so what we liked, what we didn't like. Um, I just kind of chat about that and talk about the entire experience as a whole. I feel like we were able to do a lot during these 28 days in terms of editing, learning how to use the software better. Um, the one thing I didn't like about this process is I had just changed from using one software to another and then trying to learn a brand new software on top of that. I had Premiere Pro, Premiere Rush, and Final Cut Pro. I had taken Final Cut Pro, or Premiere Pro off of my computer so it was no longer there. <laughs> so I was Premiere Rush and Final Cut Pro. And I did not use Final Cut Pro, so I had to learn how to use that throughout this process. But we'll talk about that later on today. I'm um, just starting to get my first entry in. And then from there, we will decide, uh, you know, if we get to go out shooting or not. I'm feeling a little, a little under the weather now myself. Victoria's over in the kitchen doing homework. Um, we slept in separate rooms because of the fact that I didn't want to get sick. And it looks like I'm starting to get a little sick, so uh, I started taking some vitamin C. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too little too late, but we will see, uh, pun intended, doo -doo -tsh, moving forward here. <laughs> but um, I have my coffee, uh, I'm gonna drink this up, and then I'll probably go lay down after that, just to get a little more strength, and hopefully, like I said, I don't get sick moving forward. But uh, we'll catch you guys when uh, whenever I'm actually fully awake and ready to hit the ground running, all right? All right, everybody, sorry for such a long wait between entries here. Uh, it's been a crazy day. Well, kind of, sort of. What happened was, with Victoria being sick, we've both basically been sleeping most of the day here. Uh, she did wake up, do some homework, like I said earlier this morning. But after that, she knocked out <laughs> hard. <laughs> and so did I. Um, I was in the spare bedroom because, uh, just to be on the side, I wanted to get some rest. And I always like sleeping, so nothing wrong with that. But, uh, we just been trying to take it easy, trying to recover here. Uh, I'm feeling just great. Uh, I actually just came inside from washing Victoria's car again, all nice and clean for her. I felt bad that she you know, couldn't do much. So I was like, you know, I'll wash your car for you. Just be nice and uh, kind of keep myself busy. I need something to do. Didn't record it, but uh, Lexi was outside with me as I washed the car. And I kind of vacuumed up my car a little bit. It was kind of messy on the inside. Um, from Lexi, <laughs> all in all honesty, I have dog hair all over the place. Uh, the other day we were in my car and Victoria rolled down the window on the passenger side and I rolled down my window and dog hair was just flying everywhere. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. So um, I cleaned up all of Lexi's hair in my car today as well, which is nice, but um, not much going on. But I did want to reflect on what we have learned so far during this whole process of these daily vlogs as today is the last day. Uh, first things first, the most important part of any of the vlog or any video is going to be sound. Um, I felt like the ZV-1 performed fantastically during this process, even without using the uh, external microphone. The internal mics are fantastic. They capture what I need to. Um, and if you're just running and gunning, I can definitely highly recommend this camera, especially for the price. I think it's like $700, maybe a little less than that. Uh, if you can find an open box, even better. And if I can remember the price, I will definitely put it in the description down below for y'all. Uh, it's a fantastic little camera. I can't recommend it enough. Um, next thing we, we uh, want to talk about is lighting is also important. So I, I, as you can see, I have the light over here shining in my uh, glasses and everything. Uh, looks fantastic. Uh, way better than when we first started trying to use that natural light in the kitchen. Um, growing and learning from that whole experience did help out a lot as well. So we did learn a lot, we did grow a lot in terms of the, the quality of the videos and the footage uh, and as well as keeping it consistent. <laughs> uh, that's the main part because there are days where I was filming in my office, especially over there at that table, I were just horrible. Uh, <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. It makes me cringe a bit but um, yeah that, that uh, the lighting is really key. Uh, the second most important part, I would say, would be the lighting for any situation that we're in, whether that be outside or inside. And then audio would definitely be first because no one wants to watch a, a video where the audio is all over the place. So um, those are the main two things we learned. Um, we did produce a faster workflow 
thankfully. <laughs> I was really nervous about that because of the fact that I don't necessarily edit footage super quickly. Now, with that being said, a lot of these clips, two or three times have to, to get them down correctly here. So uh, that was a major part of this where I was getting it right in camera first before even going into edit. So that, that helps out a lot, but I still had to scrub through all that footage. Uh, sometimes it'd be half an hour with their footage, <laughs> then getting it down to 11 minutes, six, even four minutes if I was lucky. <laughs> but I kind of remembered, okay, if there's three takes of me in one position, more likely I, the last one's the best one. So that really did help out. A lot of them sometimes they're kind of mixed up, jumbled, but uh, normally it was the last one. So um, as I got more confident in front of the camera and started talking more, um, less and less takes, usually the first or second time, not the third, uh, it really got me focused and dialed in. And I'm not as nervous in front of the camera anymore. Uh, the intro video, <laughs> you can see there was a spot right here on my glasses where I was really nervous from speaking, so it started to fog it up. Uh, if you go back and watch that video, you'd see, in fact, I'm gonna see if I can get that part portion of the video in here that you can see if I zoom in on my eye, uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, not here anymore, I'm a lot more comfortable in front of the camera. Lastly, uh, you know, we were able to, to uh, get a faster workflow and I forgot what other benchmarks we had there, but uh, producing the videos each and every day was helpful, uh, really kept me focused and dialed in. So my next entry will probably talk about what we have planned moving forward for the, the, the vlogs and what my goals are essentially because of the fact that I need something else to do. 28 days is nice, uh, nice, but it's the shortest month in the year. Um, the only limitations I found about this camera is that it records for five minutes at a time. So if I'm talking for a long period of time, it will shut off on me, which it just did. So uh, if this doesn't make sense, we'll cut it out and edit it later. Um, moving forward for these vlogs, what the goal is in mind is to do entries, but not as often, not every day, <laughs> especially on Saturdays. Saturdays are really rough because of the fact that I work all day. So uh, we're probably gonna scrap Saturdays unless we're on about somewhere. Excuse me, uh, out about on a vacation or something. What time we'll do Saturdays? No more Saturdays from the office. That's just boring. No one wants to see that. Um, what I'm planning on doing is I have a WordPress website. Um, Blog site? Blog site. I want to start, start trying to do blog entries once again. I found that really fun and creative as well. Not only uh, taking photos, making videos, but also writing. It's, it's, it's a really fun creative process, so I'm going to pick that back up. And once I start doing that normally, I want to try to produce that every Friday, at the very least. Um, I'll, I'll start linking that down below as, as well into the uh, descriptions of the videos. But, uh, Probably videos, we'll probably look at it once, no, two or three times a week we'll have videos. So that'll probably be like Sunday, Monday, and Friday, potentially. But we'll see how things are. Or maybe we'll do like a week update. Like, okay, here's what we did throughout the week type of deal. Um, but more storytelling. I want to be able to tell more stories, not just these. Sit in front of the camera and talk moments. Those aren't fun for anybody. <laughs> and no one wants to see me talk and, and uh, be boring in front of the camera. And we're going to try to incorporate more Lexi. Uh, especially since the fact that her name's in the title of these videos and she needs to be in them. Um, I don't know if you can hear her, she's right behind me um, licking herself. Uh, she was outside with me and I was watching the car, so she was cleaning herself up as well. But uh, that's going to be the state of the channel moving forward. Three videos per week, um, doing vlog or blog updates on WordPress, and then um, no Saturdays. <laughs> Saturdays are just too boring for us uh, here. So. Um, and more storytelling. I want to try to focus more on the cinematic storytelling part, portion of everything. Um, like I said, we're going to be using a different camera moving forward. And I'm, ex I'm just excited. Uh, I do have everything all rigged up, ready to go already in the bag. Because tomorrow is a new day. Uh, the first day of the new chapter in the series on this, on this channel. So I don't know what we're going to be calling it yet. It's going to, The title's probably going to change more than likely. <laughs> just so you're aware of that. But we did complete our 28 day challenge. So don't forget to like and subscribe and see what we do next. Uh, I'm excited moving forward and hope you can join us along for the ride. Have a good night.